Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design truss or tubular connections within RAM connections standalone. RAM connections standalone can design a truss connection for a K style joint, a Y style joint, or an X style joint using the configurations that you see on your screen. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on assigning a connection to an X style joint that has already been created in RAM connection standalone. We will now turn our attention to our RAM connection standalone application. And as you can see in the joint selection area, I've selected a typical X style joint for this particular model. When you're ready to start your connection design workflow, you're going to go to your design tab and your ribbon toolbar, click on your assign icon, and then find your tubular connections option. Here we're just going to click the CHB command. Once the connection design is complete, we can go ahead and click close. And then we're going to take a look in the joint selection area. Within the bottom left hand corner of the thumbnail for that particular joint, you'll be able to see the status of your connection design. For this particular joint I have selected, I can see that my interaction ratio is indicated in red which means that I am producing an error in this connection design. It did not pass the code check. So I have a couple of options here. If possible, I can go ahead and adjust the geometry or joint data or loading data for this joint, or I can try to edit my connection design. I'm going to try to edit my connection design. So I'm going to go to the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, click on the edit icon, and then tell the program I want to edit the truss connection. Now, once I get into the connection pad, I'll be able to see the interaction ratio for this particular joint. And again, it is revealing that I do have an error on this connection. Now, within the connection pad, I can also see the results for all the code check and geometric considerations that were performed for this X style joint I have selected. And you can see here that it is understanding that this is an X joint. So let me go ahead and scroll down. And for this one, I can see that the shear of cord sidewalls is currently failing. That's giving me my most critical interaction ratio for this particular model. So let's go ahead and close out of the report. Now for an X style joint, you do have a couple of options that you can adjust. I mean, you can always adjust your connector information, including your welding electrodes, your weld type, and also your weld size. And if you have either a square or rectangular cord section, you are able to add some reinforcement plates. So here I can see I have two different options here. I can add a flange plate that will add a plate basically on either side, or I can also add a side plate. For this particular model, I'm going to go with a side plate, and then I'm going to adjust the rest of these parameters. In the United States, I'm going to select A36 for my plate material. Let me go ahead and select some plate dimensions. I'm going to go with a 15 inch by, let's go with a four and a half inch. And then I can adjust the thickness. I'll go with a quarter inch plate for this particular, particular model. Now at this point, if I look in the ribbon, I can see that I am now passing the code check with these side plates attached. And these were side plates that are basically added on both sides of my joint. Let's take a look at my DXFU and I'll be able to see um, the detailing of this particular joint. Now this DXFU can be exported to be inserted in your drawings for later. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and just save the changes I made in the connection pad, and then I'm going to close out of here. And once I do that, you're going to see the reinforcement is being shown on the thumbnail print in the joint selection area, and the interaction ratio has been updated to indicate the status of the connection design as it currently stands. At this point, this concludes my process for assigning a truss or tubular connection to an X-style joint in RAM connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.